Hello everyone, welcome back to Sales Entertainment with me Faisal and today I'll be doing an unboxing of the HG Build Fighters AZ Gundam from the Gundam Build Fighters Battle Lounge. This is a Tatsuya Yuki mobile suit and this is a kit that I've been wanting for so long because you know this kit is kinda rare and it's a little bit expensive for a high grade but that's okay because a lot of people said that this kit is rare and I agree with them because maybe this kit is rare because of the color and the customize and the model itself it's really different from the original Zeta Gundam as you may know but, uh, this kit is based on Zeta Gundam you know, yeah if Bandai made this kit a little bit rare and expensive yeah, I guess that's okay it's not really that expensive for high grade I got this kit for 300,000 rupees 337 probably if I'm not mistaken and you know it's worth it so let's go see the front box first what we got here is the picture of the AZ itself like the other build fighter kits, you get the uh, picture of the gunpla, the name of the gunpla here, and the name of the pilot. And let's go to the side of the box. We have the information of the weapon here. It said that AZ a beam saber shield. So probably that the shield, you know, can turn into a beam saber or as you can see here, you can mount it, the beam saber effect to the shield. And twin hyper mega launcher and a beam saber. So we got to we I don't know maybe we have I'm um, sorry maybe we've got two beam saber or you know just the beam saber effect and this is the information of the uh, twin hyper launcher that it said that can be mounted in a variety of forms of taking apart and commanding pieces. And this is the prime cannon mode, so you take off, you know, the twin hyper mega launcher and mount it into the backpack, and you get yourself a prime cannon mode. And the wave freighter mob, so this kit is a transformable, transformable, I'm sorry, kit into wave freighter mode. Reproduce the transformation into wave freighter by exchanging parts. So we have to, you know, exchange the part from the uh, body to the uh, you know the wave rider body so we've got you know transform the uh, kit into a wave rider mode and the side of the box another side of the box is same like it is the same like the uh, front box but the difference here that you didn't get numbers on the kit because usually Every time you buy a kit, you have the number here, you know, the serial number, kit, one, two, three, or anything. And to the other side of the box, front and rear looking, and this is the information of the account by itself, why Meijin Kawaguchi or Tatsuya Yuki made this kit. It said that this kit is, you know, designed to improve firepower and propulsive force to the maximum and incorporate of many latest technologies in the world of Gunpla battles, battles sorry, such as adopting the anti-particle coating newly developed by Yajima Trading. Oh, so this kit, you know, was developed and was developed by the Yajima Trading, you know, the uh, pilot, the pilot of the Ninpas and the Sengoku Astray. And it said that rumor has it that an official battle using this model took place somewhere in Japan before Meijin left Japan. So before Meijin Kawaguchi left Japan, he already used this Kanpa for battle and the opponent was built fighter. Was a built fighter with deep connection to the Meijin. Hmm. I wonder who is who is the opponent? But let's say for next time. Let's see what's inside the box. We have the manual here, like the other manual for the build fighter series, you got the information of the kit, information of the fighter or the pilot, you know, that's Tatsuya Yuki or Meijin Kawaguchi, 
And then we, on the back of the you know manual, we have the uh, customized plan. You see, this is the uh, Zeta Gundam, the original Zeta Gundam. Sorry, and it's the revived version, I guess. Yeah, it is the revived version. The color guide, how to pose, battle concept, blah blah blah, and lineup of AG Build Fighters Gundam Battle Lodge. Sorry, Gundam Build Fighter Battle Lodge, the reversible Gundam, the uh, Cherodim, and the Striker GNX, and the customized weapon or custom weapon. Let's see how many runners we have here. One, two. Two, three, four, five, five, and this is maybe probably probably the uh, part for the transformation. So we have five panels. I don't see any stickers. Five, six, seven, clear green. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can see the polycap here. Ten. 11 and 12 so we have 12 runners include the polycaps so basically it's 12 uh, or 11 around yeah, let's say 12 and wait I'm gonna search for the stickers maybe we don't have stickers or maybe we have oh here we have stickers but it's Let's see the Let's go on oh, here. We have two stickers only for the eyes and for the head camera. It's really minimum and it's really good, I guess. We don't have to, you know, use a lot of sticker on the kit. Maybe that's why this kit comes very expensive too. Maybe yeah, could be. The kit with the minimum stickers is really great I guess because you know sometimes putting a sticker is really annoying for me how about you for me yeah it's really very it's very annoying for putting the stickers and we have an assembly instruction here you know the symbol use instruction here the recommended tools the finding parts I want to open this finding parts cutting the parts out and polycap and blah 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 water decals and that's all we got so i cannot wait to build this kit with you with this kit and i cannot wait to you know do review of this kit so yeah that's all the unboxing of the a zeta gundam i hope you guys like it and i will do the review of the kit next time and thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next video Bye.